Hey guys, Happy Splasher here. Good morning. So right now we're going to continue for our Dark Tower run this week. We ran into a little bit of a snag on the last day before, and we took a couple of L's, and so we'll try to do a little bit better this time around, and hopefully we can actually get this done because we do need these legendaries. So yeah, so we'll hop right in. Okay. We're going to be facing a Jimmy Rocker Boy along with a Sentry Pet, which will give them an attack boost to all of their heroes. Okay, we have this Jaxi the Thunderfist with some evasion and some extra attack. We do want to clear her out quickly, so let's start with the leader Nillen over here on C1. Well, we'll be able to put some curse on some of these heroes, and then we'll also be able to play around that evasion skill. Okay, and at this point now, I want to find a way to clear out this Jaxi. I do want to hold off, especially because of this Wood Spirit, a little weak. So we're actually going to go with the hero with go with the hero with high health over here. Yeah. And we're going to give it one more turn in order to get this done. I don't want to end up losing our Count Vlad because of the extra damage, so we'll go with the Count Vlad now. We have this Bone Dragon here with some block and that is okay. We'll go for the kill on wounded skill. And then we'll also we'll get some more hollows which we'll need. I do want to protect our Leader Nillen, so let's go with this range hero over here on C1. This Justice Inquisitor can stop Chaos heroes on the enemy side from attacking for a turn. And at this point now, we do need to deal with these Jimmy Rocker boys. We're going to see some damage happen to our field. that Danny Croc really did do a number on our field because of the new health steal skill. We'll do a shuffle, see if we can find some heroes that can help us clear out some items. Uh, nothing currently right now. We'll do one more shuffle and see what we can do. Okay, and again, also nothing. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like we probably will be losing this one just because of that Danny Croc along with the attack steal. So, just thinking if we have anything else. You know, we are going to be taking lethal, unfortunately, here. If we waited for the Jimmy Rocker boys to come out, we probably would have had a better chance, but even then we saw that our shuffles didn't really help us out. Okay, so yeah, let's hop right in and keep going. Okay, so we're facing now an ogre with a Gleedy Pet. They're going to get some health back. Against the ogre with the silence skill, I'm going to go with the heroes with the high health first. We do need to get rid of the Caesar's head, which does give mental shield. But for now, we're just summoning the My Ten, deal some damage over the field, and clear out some heroes. Uh, let's see. We do have this Eosta over here that's going to give a health boost at the beginning of the turn. I'm going to go with this building on, on D2. This one will deal some damage to enemies at the end of the turn. Okay, and at this point now, we need to find a way to clear out all of these heroes. Uh, because of the Metal Shield and then also the boost at the beginning. I'm going to go with this hero with the high health and also the spike skill to trigger some damage. Okay, we did force a silence, so that is good. Okay, uh, I'm going to do a shuffle to find a way to actually break this metal shield if possible. Okay, we do have some reflect damage. That's going to be kind of nice. Still need to get rid of that building. I'm going to go with our Kabas here on B3. Have some reflect damage, also gives us some block. Okay, and at this point, I'm not too concerned about this mini Tesla X from the high tinker. I do want to go for the board wipe now because we are pretty far behind it on the board. So we'll go with the Count Vlad. Build the destruction skill and clear out some of the other heroes. And then we'll also, let's see here. We'll go with this flight hero over here on C3 just to block. Okay, so we forced the stones. That Tesla X is now going to be a problem because we're going to be a condition there. Well, let's see. No, we'll go with this um, Arthur Frostblade here on A3. We'll be able to freeze some enemies and then also give some health boost to enemy who are actually our heroes in the line. Okay, we are a little behind in health, so we'll go for the life steal, and then we'll also follow up with this flight hero over here on C3. 
just to block this half moon priestess. Okay, uh, let's see. So we got the Scorpion Queen with some Toxin. We'll go with our melee hero here on B3. This Griffius will help us deal some damage on the lines and we will need to find a way to get rid of this Strick. Okay, and unfortunately now with our Khaled Bull being destroyed by the Strick, we have no way to actually freeze these heroes. Uh, and we are going to probably take lethal because of that Tesla X. I'm going to do a shuffle, see if we can find anything to help us clear it out. And once again, these are not helpful heroes at all. Okay, so we'll take some damage there. We'll get some health back, but that is pretty much it. We're going to be taking lethal on lane C here. Wow, quite the predicament we are in today. Okay, well, well, we got one more attempt. Let's see what we can do. Okay, another Jimmy Rocket Boy. Once again, we will try and save our heroes for later. Okay, uh, let's see. So we have the York here with the attack boost. I'm going to go, let's see. Probably the Shadow Shimon is going to be a little helpful, more helpful than the Yoster because we are already behind in damage. We're going to go with the Shadow Shimon here on B3 just so that we can get the shard and then help us block on some of the other lanes. Okay, I do want to keep this building alive. So what we'll do is we'll do two things. So we'll summon this building here on A3 with some health boost on the health room. We'll give an attack boost over to our Shadow Shimon because of the attack boost. And then at this point, Let's see if we're going to do any wipes. Probably, yeah, we'll go for a wipe now because of this York with the, for the attack boost. We'll go with the Count Vlad. Go with the kill, a wounded skill. And then, let's see. So, so we have adjacent damage. We have the building damage at the end of the turn. We'll go with this range hero over here on uh, D2. This Lord of the Forest will silence enemies in the line except nature when it dies. So that will potentially stop another hero down here. We've already traded off the Reborn on the York, so that's good. Okay, we had our Shadow Shimona transformed from the Dead Lord. Uh, let's see. Alright, so let's see what we can do here. I have enough building damage in order to destroy both of these heroes. I'm going to go with the... We do have a temporary stop with the Koshi, but I'm actually going to go with the Hanako here on the... One, just to block. Okay, and I think we're probably going to end up taking lethal again because we have no way to gain health other than our Shimuna. Or not our Shimuna, but rather our Gleedy Pet. Uh, let's see, we have combat there, combat there. Damage over there. We need to get the negative attack of the shark over to his flight hero in order to get around. But unfortunately, we will be taking lethal here with the, well, the Aharn. Wow, we are really not doing good this week. Really should uh, look into what's going on. Okay, so yeah, so that's fine. Pretty short session this time around. So yeah, we will see you guys later when we have some more temps, and hopefully we can get this Dark Tower done this week. This is Happy Splasher, uh, signing off.